Hi, this is Atmir with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Thursday, the 14th of December. And the SP over, over delivering over the near term. We've uh, managed to break through 4,600 after a few days of trying and uh, look as though we're heading straight for what was uh, supposed to be the target for the end of next month through 4,800. That resistance line there from back in uh, September last year. And so it'd be quite a coup if we could get to 4,800 by the end of this month. In terms of uh, downside at the moment, the best we can say is that uh, we're looking for the 4800 area while we're above the support area of yesterday through towards 4650. Onto the stocks and uh, quite a few belters here today at the moment. Uh, Acadia Pharmaceuticals is one. Unfilled gap to the upside after a hammer candle earlier in the week, rising 50 day line. And uh, the view here is that while we're above resistance on the way down around $27, we could head up to as high as. $33 by the end of this month. So sharp turnaround there. Another stock on the move is uh, BioAtler. And uh, here we've got uh, what looks like a rising trend channel base in place. Uh, we've uh, seen the shares uh, break above the 50-day moving average quite comfortably. That's now rising. And we've broken a resistance line there from back in October. Above that resistance line at $1.90, looking for up to $3.10 by the end of next month. A highlight of the last 24 hours has been the following stock, which uh, we looked at obviously before the 135% uh, rise. So it was covered uh, pre-open yesterday. Initial target here was uh, $3.30 while we were above the 50-day moving average around $1.80. Obviously, that's been blown out of the water. Uh, next target is as high as $8.50 by the end of next month, especially if we can hold above the... Uh, Resistance area on the way down around the uh, $5 area. So let's see if the shares can do that. Next up is a stock which is not quite as uh, dramatic, but uh, maybe uh, there's still time, of course. Uh, here we've got uh, Cybus or Cybus uh, here just nudging the 50 day moving average at uh, $14. Above that, on an end of day close basis, we're looking for $22 as soon as the end of next month and maybe a bit sooner than that as well. One of the best stocks of recent weeks is by, by quite some margin is, uh, has been uh, Chanson International. And here we had an initial target, well, various targets actually. First it was to get to the top of the range around $4.50, then uh, $5.90, uh, $8, and then uh, up to $12, which seemed absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yesterday we upgraded that to as much as $16 by the end of next month, and obviously that was taken out too. We've got the possibility of $20 by the end of next month, which is obviously uh, really a, a punchy call there. But while we're above the previous target area at $12, 20 could still be on tap for Chanson. Moving along to another stock which is uh, on the move in a positive way uh, after a, a big uh, unfold gap to the upside. Tri Near-term triangle breakout here for intensity. And uh, the longer we stay above $8, the greater the chance of a retest of $11.50 by the end of this month. Another stock uh, which uh, may become one of the better ones of the uh, recent past is uh, LQR House. We'll see if we can uh, unwind some of that horrific uh, sell-off in the uh, left of the uh, daily chart there. Current view is that uh, we've got a potential U-shaped reversal. So after all the uh, selling off uh, the bulls may be finally starting to ginger, ginger, gingerly come back in again so that u-shaped uh, reversal a broadening triangle base and uh, the potential is that we could head up to six dollars by the end of next month especially while we hold above the latest support area around the uh, one dollar thirty level so volatile but looks as though that could turn around we looked at the following stop before which is uh, Lanvin Group. And uh, here, after a uh, bear trap from below the uh, November support, we're on our way again. Uh, this time, the initial target here up to $4.40 over the next uh, probably a week or so. Best case scenario target by the end of next month, up to $5.40. Ideally, we stay on the right side of that 50-day line at $3.50 in the meantime. Haven't looked at the following stock uh, before, but uh, let's see if we can get uh, good stuff here with uh, ne Nephros. Massive unfold gap to the upside yesterday, and uh, the overall pattern here, broadening, uh, or rise, a broad rising trend channel. That's heading towards $4.50 by the end of next month, and actually the way things are going could be sooner than that. And the upside value, while we hold above the floor of the latest gap, around $2.70. It's above $2.70, looking for $4.50 there at Nephros. 
Uh, we covered the following stock uh, before the poetically named Sun Run. Here we've had a trend line, trend line break uh, through a uh, through the top of a falling wedge. The support area now around twelve dollars fifty. Above that, we're looking for a retest of uh, the uh, summer resistance from this year at twenty two dollars plus by the end of next month. The reason for the big target there is the gap higher that we had uh, at the start of the month and also the rising fifty day moving average. Uh, maybe not quite quite so spectacular, but still worth having a look. Is uh, Sci Spark rising trend channel base. We've bounced off the channel floor several times now, around five dollars. Uh, 20 and above that looking for up to $15 by the end of next month obviously hoping for a repeat of what we saw back in November where we rallied from the $5 area to uh, $14 or so. Moving along to uh, the uh, next contender Shattuck Labs and uh, here massive gap to the upside after a good consolidation above a rising 50-day line. The view now is that uh, the longer we stay above the uh, old resistance, uh, pre-summer resistance for the shares around 380, the greater the chance of a move up to $7 and that uh, summer 22 the resistance line projection. On to the last two. First one is uh, Upstart. And uh, here we've got a situation where uh, we're re regrouped after that horrible uh, dis uh, fall that we had back in uh, the summer. Uh, the view now is that above neckline resistance around $37. We're looking up to $60 by the end of next month and maybe a bit sooner if this is indeed a nice U-shaped recovery. Finishing off with view, which is arguably the most difficult call here because uh, obviously we've had a rather devastating bear run in the shares. But uh, here, this stock has done what we wanted it to do, i.e. break back above the 50-day moving average. That's now around $2.80 and above that, looking for a flip up towards uh, resistance on the way down, maybe in the... Uh, $8 area sometime by the end of next month. But the key here is holding above that 50-day line. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend.